are so not leaving breadcrumbs. Oh my god. No way. Rumpelstiltskin. What a ridiculous name. Okay. This guy is not falling. No. No, no, no. What? Okay. A cat with boots. So, who, like, who wouldn't love that? No way. It's like Zorro, man. Like, oh my god. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Uh, hi. My name's Sophie, and today I'm here to talk to you about sleep. My hope today is for you to learn a bit about the biological and chemical process of sleep. Hopefully you'll learn about those aspects involved in sleep-wake cycle, as well as the importance of sleep and some fun facts. First of all, what is sleep? Well, the dictionary defines sleep as a natural state of rest in which your eyes are closed, your body is not active, and your mind is unconscious. Now, I don't know if I completely agree with the dictionary. In fact, down with the dictionary. True, you are unconscious, and you're not really going anywhere, and your eyes hopefully are closed. But the truth is, your body is actually hard at work. Memory consolidation, muscle repair, that's a lot to be going on. Also, your body is releasing a lot of important hormones, including growth hormone, which is very important for children. If you don't get enough sleep, you might end up like this. Hey, so catch. teach you how the sleep cycle works. The sleep cycle is composed of two parts. One is NREM sleep and the other is REM sleep. NREM sleep is a series of four stages and occurs approximately 75% of the night. In the first stage you are just starting to fall asleep or are in a light sleep. Your heart rate slows and your muscles relax. In stage two, your sleep deepens and your heart rate and breathing steady. It is in stages three and four that you attain your deepest and most restorative sleep. Your blood pressure drops, your respiration rate slows, muscles relax further and blood supply to them increases. Also, there's tissue growth and repair, energy is restored and hormones are released. REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement. It occurs between NREM sleep stages approximately every 90 minutes. It is also a period of energy restoration and is when you dream. Your body is immobile and your eyes dart back and forth. There are three main chemicals involved in the sleep-wake process. One is melatonin, two, serotonin, and three, adenosine. Let's take a look at the molecules. Well, enough staring at them. Why don't you just come meet them? Come with me, let's go. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm a little afraid of the light. Well, um, I'm a hormone. I live in the pineal gland. 
basically what brings me out is lack of light or darkness. Your retina senses this and a message is sent to your hypothalamus telling your pineal gland to release me into your bloodstream. I make you drowsy and I cool you down. But if you turn on those lights, I'm out of here. Oh, and quick shout out to my receptors. I couldn't find without you. You're not just a gene. You're a protein gene coupled receptor. You may be in my brain, but you've got a big place in my heart. Great job. Keep regulating those hormones. Howdy y'all. I'm Sally Serotonin, and I'm what they call a neurotransmitter. Well, all you gotta do to make me work is have L-tryptophan. It's just a dietary amino acid. You just eat your eggs, your meat, your soybeans, or even just some dried spilia do you just fine. Well, I'm mostly found in your GI tract, but also in your neurons. I'm not only synthesized by your pineal gland, but I can also help it secrete melatonin. I can affect your mood, and I can also help with synapses. Oh, I see some of my 5-HT receptors. They're a little helical, if you know what I mean. Well, bye for now. Keep on keeping on. Hello, sir. My name is Monsieur André Adenosine. You may know me as a compound of RNA or ATP. Anyways, I am a purine nucleoside, also a neurotransmitter. I am thought to be formed inside the cell or on their surface, mostly by the breakdown of atonine nucleotides. I increase in your blood stream each hour you're awake and this makes you très fatigué. Then I decrease as you sleep to make you more awake. I have four receptors and they almost all do different things. They even help regulate your cardiovascular system or see your immune system. Now, I know I am supposed to tell you about what I do do, but really, the better question is, what don't I do? Well, I am needed. Au revoir. Now you're probably wondering, why does our sleep cycle and the chemicals involved with it coincide with night and day? Well, it all has to do with your circadian rhythm. Your circadian rhythm is most commonly known as your body clock. It is chiefly dictated by a pea-sized part of your brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN for short. Your circadian rhythm is simply a term that refers to your body's daily changes within a 24-hour cycle. This, of course, includes going to sleep and waking up. Well, I hope you learned a lot about sleep and why it's so important. But if you ever forget, don't worry, just sleep on it. Sweet dreams.